Everything we've done in modern industrial agriculture is to grow it faster, fatter, bigger, cheaper. Nobody's thinking about E. coli, type 2 diabetes, and the ecological health of the whole system. We're outsourcing autonomous farmer decision making. We're outsourcing that to corporate boardrooms in big cities a thousand miles away where people make decisions and don't live with the consequences of those decisions. Everything is grass-based. You know, they don't eat corn or, or dead cows or chicken manure like, you know, they feed right here in the valley uh, or dead chickens. Um, they actually uh, eat grass, forage, you know, clover, grass, herbs. So they're herbivores. If they were eating corn, you're gonna have to harvest that corn, transport that corn, and then you're gonna have to haul all that manure somewhere out the from that comes out the back end here it's <laughs> there there is the there is the whole thing i mean the cow is she's fertilizing she's mowing we don't have to spread any manure we don't have to harvest it she's harvesting it i mean it's it's all real time real real solar dollars the industrial food system gradually became so noisy smelly not a person friendly place that the people who operate those plants don't want anybody to go there because then people would see the ugly truth. When that occurred, then we lost all the integrity and all the accountability in the food system. Hey, pig. Hey, piggles. Hey, pigs. I'm always struck by how successful we have been at hitting the bullseye of the wrong target. I mean, we have learned, for example, in cattle, we have learned how to, um, how to plant, fertilize, and harvest corn using global positioning satellite technology, and nobody sits back and asks, but should we be feeding cows corn? You know, we've become a culture of, of uh, technicians. We're all, into, we're all into the how of it. And nobody's stepping back and saying, but why? <laughs> I mean, a culture that just views a pig as a pile of protoplasmic inanimate structure to be manipulated by whatever creative design the human can foist on that critter will probably view individuals within its community and other cultures in the community of nations with the same type of disdain and disrespect and controlling type mentality. 